So ladies and gentlemen, fight number three this evening will be contested in the lightweight division over three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 70.1 kilos and trains out of Bravo's Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Tonight, he makes his MMA debut. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Julian Justiniano. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in over the lightweight limit at 71.5 kilos and trains at Strike MMA. A four-fight amateur veteran holding one win. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lorenz El Matador Aranida. You've heard Daniel Wardsley announce that, uh, that Aranita missed mate only by about 900 grams, but uh, but again, there's nothing going to stop Juicy and Arno taking this fight. Absolutely. No, look, Juicy coming out faster, strong, uh, fast as well. Look at him stalking. <laughs> You can tell you can tell by the intro this is the way that it was going to start. Yeah, and Justiano has that wrestling background, but Lorenzo can still use those strikes and, and land him on the chin, and take away his power. As we see him doing now, spin off the cage and utilize that striking game. Like he said, he's going to try and stick a move against Julian, but um, see how Julian can use that wrestling right now. Jump for the inside leg trip doesn't work. Reaches the comeback to striking again. Lorenzo That's doing a great job so far of uh, diffusing his, his wrestling. Settled down nicely now, but yeah, it was a fast start, wasn't it? Absolutely. And Lorenzo's landing some powerful strikes right oh. now. Nice knee. That was a nice he knee. Ate again. Wow, look at that. It's Julian just shakes it off and says, <laughs> let's go. He's just happy to be here. <laughs> He's looking at closing the distance and then doing a nice job again is uh, just Leonardo. El Matador every time defending that takedown. Oh, oh, nice left hook there. Julian looks a little bit angry. He wants to go. Yeah, he's still fired up. <laughs> he's been waiting nine months for this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, beautiful nice spray of striking, by mate. Beautiful. It's an exciting fight. Only a minute and a oh. half. Lorenzo using a more Dutch style of kickboxing, he's tacking the up high and then finishing the leg kicks each time. See that uh, Aaron Eater's uh, switching stances a few times as well, trying to put his opponent off, probably af after the furious start. <laughs> Great pressure from Julian right now, but Lorenzo again stuffing the head down, but he's doing a beautiful job. A really impressive Lorenzo striking and his takedown defense right now. Yeah. On the, on the attack is so far is obviously Julian Juicy and Arno, but Aaron Ito, as you said, Kyle, basically putting in some good work on the back foot. Absolutely. It's, it's going to be interesting Ooh, to see if Julian can slip. keep this pace up. Yeah, it's furious pace. I think the three-minute rounds will help as well. That's what, that's what I like about the, these you know, lead-up fights as well because they get to work and go hard at it. Yeah, we see the takedown, yeah. man. Beautiful catch of the kick and just took him down. It's, uh, it looks to take his bag, but Lorenzo up straight away. Yep. Back to the feet. Did very well. He's been working hard on his wrestling, I can tell. Nice left there by oh, Julian. Julian almost stalking him as he comes in. He's always susceptible to those knees again. He has to be careful. Throwing a lot of uh, left hooks as well, just now. Oh, there it is, the knee each time. A couple of knees thrown. This, this round has, has had everything so far. It's an exciting fight. Yeah. Brett Benetti here in the commentary position with former UFC great, I'll say. Kyle <laughs> Noak, the best fighters ever to come out of Australia for the UFC. Oh, that's me again. Me. Second round of this exciting fight. We just wanted to keep going. Can we have this fight at five rounds? It'd be great. Yeah. It's oh, one of those nice fun fights. Change, yeah. Look, we really see that wrestling ability come into play now. I think he's relaxed now. He's a bit more comfortable. We're going to see a lot more shots from him. We've seen Aranita able to get up pretty quickly, and it's going to be interesting to see if uh, Justiniano can keep him down because that's what I've been impressed with what Aranita's been able to do if he got taken down. Yeah, last time he got taken down against the cage, he was able to utilize that cage to get to his feet. This time he's out in the open, so let's see how good he's been working that stand-up game. As Julian is unloading right yeah, now. Yeah, look at that. Big, heavy shots. But there we go. As he goes those shots, he's open for the, uh, Lorenzo to stand up. The more you open up for strikes, the more easier it is to stand up. 
Yeah, Mitch Chinley and I spoke to, uh, to Lorenzo. Oh, oh so low, bro. Oh, just I was saying that. Sorry, Mitch. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a great thing. It's like, oh, sorry, I did get him, but it yep. was an accident. But uh, but yeah, he thought we thought he, we got told that Aaron Eater was going to try and keep it on the feet and avoid the ground game. And but I think he's done very well after it's been taken down to be able to get back up. But uh, he that Julian is not going to want to you know waste too much time. He wants to get back into it. Mm. And he's given the thumbs yeah. up to the crowd. Yeah, quick, yeah, it was low, but I want to get back into it. A quick check of the away. boys and then back yeah. into it. That's <laughs> exactly right. So not, not much of a break. And they don't need it. You can really see Lorenzo sort of taking control of the striking game here. Seems a lot more comfortable on the feet. Julian is landing some shots every now and then, but I think, oh, as, we, as I speak. That's nice. Spoke too soon, Kyle. Yeah. Again, Julian stalking him down that very low stance, and that's where that uh, low blow would have came in, such a low stance, mm. as Julian digs to the body again. I think Aaron Eater's uh, happy with the counter style as well. I think he's more, it looks very comfortable there, doesn't he? He's having a lot of success with it. And uh, it, it takes away his, uh, Julian's ability to shoot on him, because after every combo, he's throwing his own combo back, which sort of confuses him, stops him from shooting. Oh, oh as he lands a beautiful shot. On you again, very aggressive juicing Arno tonight. So maybe he's capitalising on that, saying he's coming in too aggressive on the counter. He doesn't and show. They, they knew that coming in as well. They didn't know too much about each other, but no. he knew he did know that coming in. And, and I, it's interesting to see if Julian can keep this pace for the entire fight. He believed in, the, in his cardio, mm -hmm. uh, but different <laughs> when we see it. So far, it's holding up. We've got. Uh, Obviously, the final in the final minute of our second round, scheduled for three. Yeah, and you can have the best cardio in the world, but once you're in there fighting with the lights on you, it's a whole different ball game. And you know to yourself, you probably had teammates before where there've been animals inside the gym, but once you get in front of the lights, the cardio goes. It's like a big adrenaline dump. So, and it happens. Oh, here we go. We see Lorenzo pouring it on now. It's a role role reversal here because it's been. Uh, uh, Julian that's obviously been pressing the action and Aaron Eater's got uh, got got him on the on the back foot now. Aaron Eater's doing an awesome job there of keeping him on the cage, stopping him from shooting on him. He's got to be careful where his head positions at though. Let us him put that chin underneath Julian's Oh, chin. little. Well, this is the third and final round. Once again, this fight proudly brought to you by Victory Recovery Systems. I'd be glad they sponsored this one. Both eyes come out firing again from the start. I want to see whether basically Aranita starts pushing forward more in the third and final round as well. Oh, look at that. Julian stepped it up another level now. He's bringing a lot bit more pace to this round. You've been impressed by the knees thrown by El Matador as well, haven't you? He's timed them really well. Each time he ducks down and Julian ducks, he's throwing that knee perfectly. I'd like to see him use a few more of those this round. I think he's covered up. Again, a lot of head hunting by Julian, uh, but I think that he's covered up nicely as mm -hmm. well. A great defense by him. Is Julian pouring the pressure on right now? As you see that takedown again. Nice. Look it to the cage. Nice. Lorenzo's in a better position now. He's that back against the wall. He's able to defend the takedowns every time when he gets that back against the wall. So I'm, I'm sure he feels a lot more comfortable there than being out in the open. Yeah, Julian did say that he that Aaron Eater won't want to be taken down, but what, what I've been impressed with is being able to get up each time. Absolutely, and that has to score high on the judges as well. The ability to stand up if someone taking you down has to be scored high in my opinion. You know, they say, always say cage control. They might see that uh, Julian has uh, the cage control by pushing oh, forward a lot. Lorenzo goes for his own shot there. Julian quick to defend it though. Might be predicting a split decision here. <laughs> Beautiful take I say that, that that's telling and that's uh, looked looked nice as well. South position and let's see what uh, Julian can do from the top position. But again, Lorenz has been very good off the back and oh Julian nice. Hey, look at that. See, he gets up again. again. And the crowd loving this. Is fight. that more of a mistake from Julian though? Uh, a bit of, yeah, a bit of, but he didn't trap that arm enough to, to take his back. He just tried to spin and go for it. He has a beautiful teeth to the face. He... <laughs> said he's comfortable going, going backwards. Again, 
Oh, gets, gets a takedown. Take down. Takedown's going to be the difference in these fights. And the cut came from uh, round two, so that's open up again. But this is a good finish. The final 30 seconds of this one. Been a fun fight that we wish that we could see around four. <laughs> well, he's going to get taken down again, and uh, I think that he'll be able to get up again in the final 20 seconds as well. Let's see. Let's see if Julian can keep him there. Oh, Julian he's going to go for the finish. finish. He's so strong. He's very every strong. Every time, just stands up. Yep, predicted it. My final 10 seconds. Let's see it fly. Oh. Nice knee. Both guys push the pressure. Julian with the takedown in the final seconds. Lorenzo just laughs. Yeah, he might see that that's enough though. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores about 29 to 28 to the blue corner. Judge two scores about 29 to 28 for the red corner. And judge three scores about 29 to 28 for your winner by split decision in the blue corner, Julian Justinian.